My name is Lisa Pritchard and I run photography agency um, LPA. Um, LPA uh, primarily is photographers agents but we also represent stylists and hair and makeup artists um, and we provide a full production service so we organise shoots from locations to castings to finding studios and everything in between. Um, we also are a bit different to other agents in that we offer a pop-up agent service. So photographers without agents, um, if they get a shoot inquiry or, or need some production, we can handle that as if we were their agent, as a pop-up agent. Um, and I do uh, some one-to-one -one portfolio reviews, a limited amount of those per month. Um, and I've written a couple of books as well about the business of photography. Uh, but primarily I'd say our business is uh, representing photographers, advertising photographers. Well it just kind of happened naturally really, so I set up LPA uh, 13 years ago now um, and when I set it up I've been in the business already for 8 or 9 years. Um, I didn't really come from a traditional background um, whereby I work with other agents. I, always, I was always the one within um, an editorial agency representing the photographers to add and design agencies. Um, when I say editorial, they were really fantastic photojournalists and celebrity portrait photographers. And so my job was to find them uh, commissions from ad and design agencies. And then gradually I started taking uh, sourcing photographers uh, and bringing them into the agency that I worked at. So then, you know, I thought, I'm kind of sourcing the photographers, I'm doing the estimates and the production, I might as well just break free and, and do it on my own. So I kind of, it was a very natural uh, progression really, and that was 13 years ago, and yeah, it's good. It's been good ever since. A man called David Knight, who I think is quite important in Production Paradise, he phoned up um, my office about just when I'd started up, so kind of over 12 years ago. Um, and he was like trying to encourage me to um, go in Production Paradise and, and buy some space or whatever. And at the time I was like, no, 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 I don't want to. And he left a message with my assistant saying, she can't be a very good agent if she's not in Production Paradise. So at the time I was like a little bit like, ooh, okay, fine. And then I just kept seeing it everywhere and you know they're very proactive in their marketing and people were talking about it so I thought actually maybe it's not a bad idea um, and so that's how really yeah the, the, the sales people at Production Paradise are, 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 are quite persua persuasive but everything's just very um, you know Production Paradise gives quite a loud message off to the industry and they maintain a really high profile themselves so kind of couldn't ignore it in the end and that was 12 years ago. Well, it's kind of it's quite a small niche industry being a photographer's agent. Um, so you know we are we are a kind of known brand, I guess, without wishing to appear you know kind of cocky. But we, we are kind of known as um, you know um, if an ad agency in, in London wanted to commission a photographer, they they often go to you know a, a handful of agents, knowing they'll have a, a good group of photographers. Um, but we also um, you know more recently you know. Um, people just Google photographers or lifestyle photographer um, so we really make sure our, our search engine optimization is uh, is really up there um, we our own marketing we, we target people directly so we'll send um, emailers out um, sometimes specific ones like food and drink to agencies with food and drink clients um, and we'll also be proactive on social media we'll send printed promos directly to people that we want to work with um, and we just generally though maintain a, a high visibility in the industry really. We run, we run a couple of competitions to find emerging talent and that gives us a lot of press so people might read about us in a magazine or on a blog. Um, we literally phone up and ask if we can go around with printed portfolios to see people and maintain contact. And do you know what, the majority of people find us because we've been recommended or they know of us already. The majority is repeat business, to be honest, which I think is how it is in, in the industry as a whole. Yeah, it's very helpful. It, I mean, it is, there's, there's probably only a small handful of directories um, that deal with the photographic industry, the commercial photographic industry, um, as opposed to the, the fashion or the fashion beauty editorial, which is not 
my niche, and, it, and my niche is a, it's a small niche, it's commercial advertising photography. Um, so, you know, I think there's probably another two or three directories, um, online handbooks of, um, uh, for that niche, so um, it's extremely helpful, yeah. Very interesting question. The most important characteristics a photographer needs to have. Funnily enough, number one on the list isn't an amazing body of work and fantastic photography, absolutely right for the market. Obviously that's important, but that's that's kind of down the list really. The number one thing is just a, a, a good personality, you know, a personable, likeable type of person um, that we're going to get along with. Um, you know, we spend a lot of time talking to our photographers, dealing with our photographers, managing their careers. Um, so we just have to like them, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun, informal industry, you know, so we, 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 and we can choose the people that we want to work with. Um, so definitely personality, and it's also a, it is such a people industry. So once a photographer goes on the shoot, if the client loves them, they got on really well with them, they're going to get more work. If they if they didn't really gel, if they weren't a particularly, I don't know, if they had some personality default, then you know that's probably the end of, of that one. So personality. Um, interestingly, actually, I think you know something really high on on my list is. Um, to share the same values in wanting to deliver a really high level of customer service. Um, as I say, it's an informal, fun industry, but it, it's a professional industry. Um, so it needs, photographers need to be professional and they need to want to deliver um, a service, you know, be great on the shoot, just give an extra, extra 10% on each shoot. So it's really being, you know, custom, customer service it has to be on their list of priorities. That's really important. Well, I mean, Production Paradise is, um, I think Production Paradise kind of knows the industry really well. They understand the different silos in the industry um, and they understand uh, the different areas of the industry internationally as well. You know, we can only keep on top of so many things um, and be aware of so many things. Um, so a real understanding and effort to, to know who are the movers and shakers in the industry um, is quite evident with Production Paradise um, and along with that just a, a hugely proactive um, marketing um, strategy um, making sure they've got the best people advertising with them and making sure all the important clients see um, you know they, they, they put the suppliers together with the clients really so um, so that's my final comment about Production Paradise, really. Avoid it at your peril. <laughs>